going to talk about some of our modules today. Just to touch on that, we have some that are extra, some that are just included as part of the subscription. They just need to be turned on. The ones I'm covering today are going to be the voice module with texting and calling, the Maya tool, which is our AI assistant, the mail module, which pretty much is, is talking about our postcards, and then the surveys. There's kind of an extra way to get some extra feedback, keep everything organized and part of the database here. First one I'm gonna to touch on is the voice. So I guess to get to this initially, you go to your modules under your name here. It only shows for the admin user, so don't be surprised if it doesn't show if you're not the admin. All of the modules will show here, some of which says included into subscription, like these ones are free. Other ones have the pricing marked on it. First one, voice, basically our texting and calling functionality. It's probably my favorite one just because everybody knows everybody's on their phone all the time. It's especially good for when you have leads coming in. We want to make sure we're getting in front of them as quickly and effectively as possible. So typically maybe a quick text and an email is the way to go. Another thing you can do is if we look at an example here, this would go out to a new lead. So the one obviously is the initial post. So the second a lead comes in, maybe we have this campaign trigger. We hit them with a text saying, hey, just got your info from so-and-so. Maybe it was a referred lead or maybe a lead from your website if you have a form on there, which we also can help you with. Maybe another one day three, maybe they didn't respond to the first one. We wanna hit them again, day five, day seven. Whatever your strategy is, it allows you to just kind of build that strategy where we're getting in front of them. Another cool thing is if they were to respond, which we do have as a tracked item. So in the tracker, we're able to see, okay, we got a, a text received and all of our sent ones are gonna track as well. So just like any email sent or Maybe you left a note saying, okay, we left a voicemail. You'll see exactly what they talked about. And then you could actually respond from here, send SMS. So that'll go right to their phone from your provided be in touch number. On that note, we will be turning on a specific number for you. You're unable to use your cell line, at least at this time. It's a number that is dedicated to be in touch. So your CRM, as well as your mobile app, you're able to text back and forth from here pretty much like a standard phone. But uh, yeah, beauty is everything is tracked. So once you go into the client, you're gonna see all of your back and forth. What I was getting at with that SMS received is maybe we wanna set up a trigger to stop that lead campaign and maybe put them on a different one that's not trying to get their attention because we, we met our goal, we got their attention. Now we're gonna try and maybe push them forward in the pipeline. That kind of gets into the triggers, which we do have training about all of the training is under the same section, training and support, attend to training, and then you got marketing automation where we would cover that. Those are some of the best ways, in my opinion, to use the texting. Another way, say we have a, a phone number and let's use this guy right here. Give this guy a call. So from the same number that we provide, you can call from that. The beauty with calling is we can actually mask that with your actual line. So whatever cell phone line you want as like a caller ID with the calling specifically, not the texting, we are able to mask the calls for that. So you can either call from this page or you can just click the number, it starts the call. So if you have a headset, great. You can actually have the conversation there. You could also open it up on your mobile app, just like the texting back and forth. That works as well. But yeah, you should see a tracked item. I'm not sure if it actually went through because it didn't hit allow. Usually you would see, okay, call was at this time for this amount of time, just adds to the, the tracking of everything. Bonus, you are able to track how many texts have gone out, how many minutes of calling you've made. You could also add additional lines. Like if you have another user or multiple users that you wanna give separate lines than just the one that's provided, you are able to add those in. Pricing all together with that, 49 will turn it on. If you're already an individual user, you already have it. You just need to activate it basically, or go in the settings and get it going. The additional lines are $10 per additional line per month. Texting, 
Yes, so you get a thousand units. It's only counting the outbound texts. So if they respond, you're not getting charged. If you go above the thousand units, it's three cents per text outbound or one minute of call after that thousand units would be three cents per minute. Uh, next one I'll get through is gonna be the mail. It's talking about our, our postcards. So those are the one thing that we are able to mail out. Cool thing here is you can send out a postcard, maybe post close or loan anniversaries, birthdays, really any holiday. And we have a huge library of different ones. You can find this in the marketing and then mail. So there's tons of them. You can send them off just a one-off. There's a four by six and a six by nine. Uh, pricing would be 65 cents a piece for the four by six. And then for the five and a half by eight and a half or six by nine would be 99 cents. You could either send it out on a one-off basis or you can get it pre-set in your campaign. So as soon as they become a post-funded client or maybe a couple days before somebody's birthday, we can send this out with whatever text and your image and stuff like that on it. You have your history here so you can track how many cards have been sent out. How it works is you load it up kind of like a gift card. So say you want $50 that we're going to pull from to mail these things. You can send 50 six by nine postcards, basically. We cover the printing, shipping, all that kind of stuff. So the next one is gonna be surveys. 15 bucks per user per month is the pricing. If you have five users on the account, it'll apply to all five users. It also allows you to individually send out surveys that can be tied to each of your LOs or just your one account if you're an individual. But with this, you can basically create multiple surveys, maybe one in the middle of the process, one at the very end. As you are building these design template that you'd like, each of these you can preview just to make sure you like how it looks. It's gonna have your branding, the survey of course, and maybe a, a description, the question here, you can add the drop down. There's lots of options. If the survey is on your website and you have multiple LOs, you can say, okay, let's put all the LO names and you could ask who is your the LO that you worked with. Another cool thing here is that you can say if they give me, I don't know, an eight out of 10, depending on your rating, one to five, three stars, whatever the case, then you can basically have it posted to your other social media. So just an extra way to kind of get the feedback out there, get people seeing, wow, just a great situation. We want to jump on that as well, promote yourself. And then you could also have a notification as people are completing these surveys, just so you can check it out. And with the results, you can go right to the client's record. You got the surveys. So it does tie to the, the borrower, just like everything else. So you can pull it up as needed. With the marketing, maybe post-close, you can send out a message. Yeah, so that's a good example. So you got your branding, just like all your other marketing. You link to the specific survey with a meta tag. They can click through, fill out the survey, hit submit, and then you can redirect them to either a thank you page or maybe your website. Or... The survey is a hyperlink, so it works on all devices. It basically brings them to a landing page and they can just hit submit on there. The last one is the Maya tool. So this one, free of charge, it's all part of the subscription. Basically, it's an efficiency tool, at least in my opinion. It helps you without having to click through your database and create a task at 2 p.m. tomorrow for John Doe. You can literally just type it in. So it's gonna be in this top right corner. Sometimes it does want specific requests and it tells you kind of how to explain things. Like this example, create a task to call Jim Bob tomorrow at two. It said, hey, I created a task and then it also links the record. So it brings you right to that client and you actually see that in the tasks. So instead of going to the database, finding the client, or maybe using the search bar and then adding a task, click and add task, all of those processes, you could literally just say, hey, create a task for this guy tomorrow at this time. Another thing you can do is show your funded loans uh, or people in a specific group. We have a walkthrough of everything with this, it actually kind of shows, okay, show funded loans this month, and it just breaks it all down. So whatever is in your pipeline, it also references the actual client, so you can click through them, 
see all the 1003 info, the documents. Again, it's an efficiency tool to just kind of navigate the database. As time goes on, it's always learning, just nice to interact with. With the mobile app, it actually works with Siri and Alexa, if you have uh, one of those devices, but you can just basically have the mobile app open and then you say whatever you would type, it picks it up and just relays it into the mobile app. On the portal, so your borrowers have a portal where they can fill out the application, upload docs, check their milestones. They can communicate directly with you about the app or any questions, but then there's also the AI assistant that you can have on here. And it's basically the same thing. They can ask, hey, what's a FICO score? Just general questions to help them get through the application. It's all about the efficiency of getting that through. Another option is the web chat tool. Looks like this. So on any page of your website, you can have something like this. We can take a lead in just with this info being submitted, and then they can start the chat with you back and forth. The chat form basically is code that you copy it's gonna be created with the connect widget. That's under options, connect widget. You basically fill out the forms, you copy the code, and then you paste it onto your website. That would basically allow the chat box to show up. As they're submitting this, you'll see all that info as a new lead, and you'll have a copy of everything that they talked about. It could be your personal website or be in touch site, any HTML website, which I think is all of them these days. Thank you for watching this training video. To learn more about the BNTouch CRM, please check out our YouTube channel.